Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. Today we're taking a look at the Channel Lock number 368 8 inch lineman slash side cutting pliers. Um, these are obviously a part of the Made in the USA series that Channel Lock has. And as you can see right there, you have the Channel Lock name laser etched onto the surface. You have your model number right there, and then Made in the USA laser etched onto the surface as well. Now this is a high leverage design, meaning that the rivet is a lot closer to the cutting edge. And you obviously have the longer handles. So with that rivet combined with the longer handles, you're able to cut through material a lot easier than if it was just a standard pair of... Um, Lineman's pliers where the rivet is set quite a bit back kind of like a pair of combination pliers um, But as you can see right here You have your standard uh, channel lock blue dipped handles uh, right here And then you have some gripping on the very back end of the pliers right there as you can see right there So if you had some fish tape or you had a nail a screw or something that you need to pull out uh, Or you had a grip on you could use that for right there and obviously you have your rivet right here You have your cutting edge right there uh, which is super nice and you have a super nice cross hatching design here on the nose of the plier uh, which is definitely super nice if you needed to grip onto something uh, and you want to have a nice firm grip onto it and not lose your grip uh, it's nice to see that they put a cross hatching design instead of putting all the teeth going in this one direction and then obviously the sides of the plier are meant for reaming out pipe so when you cut a piece of conduit and you want to take that burr off you could basically stick this in there and spin it around and it'll cut that burr off now we're looking at the back, and as you can see, you have a standard square cutout that comes on most line pliers. Uh, and that's really about it for the, you know, the details. You can see a little better look at your cutting edge right there, and you can see I've cut quite a few wires so far with these. Um, but that's really about it for the detail. Now we're going to zoom out here and get to some of the functionality of these. So the first thing we're going to start off with is this 18-gauge solid wire. See if the cutting jaws on here or the cutting knives on here can cut through that, which I think they should be able to. And as you can see right there, you're able to cut through this 18-gauge uh, solid wire, no problem uh, whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and set that guy off to the side and clear that wire out of there. And we'll bring in some 18-gauge stranded wire and see if we can cut through this, uh, which we should be able to do, no problem. And as you can see right there, we're able to cut through this 18-gauge Strand to buy it, no problem whatsoever. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set that guy off to the side. And now we'll bring in some 14 gauge stranded wire. We'll go ahead and cut through this and see how well we can do that. And as you see right there, we are able to cut through that 14 gauge uh, stranded wire, no problem whatsoever. And you're able to do it, it's super easy too. The, the, cutting, the cutting jaws on here, or the cutting blades, cutting knives, whatever you like to call them, are super sharp and they just, you know, cut through that material, no problem whatsoever. So we're gonna bring in some 14 gauge solid wire right here. And as you can see right there, we're able to cut through that no problem whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side and we will bring in our 12 gauge solid wire right here. And we'll go ahead and cut through that. And as you can see, we are able to cut through that no problem whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and set that guy off to the side and we'll bring in some 12 gauge stranded wire. And as you can see right there, are able to cut through that 12 gauge stranded wire no problem whatsoever now i don't really have any 10 gauge solid wire but i do have some 10 gauge stranded wire so we'll go ahead and see how well we can cut through that and as you can see right there we are able to cut through that 10 gauge stranded wire no problem whatsoever so we'll go ahead and set that guy off to the side we'll probably bring that one back in uh, but we still have a few more things to cut through so here we have some 18 gauge um this is 18 5 thermostat wire so there's five solid 18 gauge wires in here and we'll see how well we can cut through that and see if the jaws are are sharp enough to cut through there's a little piece of insulation that runs uh up throughout this wire and as you can see right there we're able to cut through those wires and both pieces of the insulation as well so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side and we'll bring in some 14 gauge some 14-2 Romex so it's with ground so it's basically you're cutting through three wires and we're going to see how well we can cut through those and we'll go ahead and put that guy in the cutting jaws right there and we'll definitely squeeze down and as you can see we are able to cut through that no problem whatsoever you just got to make sure you line up the cutting jaws as you can see there's a little bit of a gap right there you just got to make sure you line up that insulation all the way to the cutting jaws otherwise you're not going to cut through that insulation all the way and as you can see right there we cut through it all the way right there and right there we're able to cut through that 14 gauge um Romex wire, no problem. So now we're gonna up the ante and bring in some 12-2 with ground Romex wire and see how easy and well we can cut through that. 14 gauge, didn't really have to use that much effort, but the definitely the 12 gauge, definitely gonna have to use quite a bit of effort to cut through that. Uh, obviously it's, you know, th quite thick wires you're cutting through, but as you can see, you are able to do it no problem whatsoever. You just gotta use a little bit more force uh, than usual. So we'll go ahead and clear all that out and we'll bring in our 10 gauge wire 
and we will see if we can strip this 10 gauge wire with these uh, sharp cutting jaws on these uh, channel lock 368s uh, right here. So we'll go ahead and spin that guy around and see if we can pull off that insulation. And as you can see, we kind of got it to come off right there. Um, let's see if we can go around there a couple more times to cut that insulation all the way around. And, and as you can see right there, if you do it, if you spin the wire on there enough times, you are able to strip some wire with that. So if you don't have a pair of wire strippers and you need to strip a wire, definitely could do it with these. Um, so overall, these are definitely a nice pair of linesman uh, pliers from Channel Lock. Uh, and I also forgot to mention this, they have this little beveled edge cut right here. And that is for if you're trying to grip onto like a staple or a screw or a nail, you're just trying to pull it out. That is to prevent you from sliding past it. Uh, it's supposed to help out with that. Um, but overall, these are definitely a nice pair of, like I said, a nice pair of linesman pliers from Channel Lock. Now, one complaint about these is you can't find them in stores. Uh, I know you can find the nine and a half inch in the stores, no problem. Pretty much, you know, every Home Depot you go to should have at least one pair of them uh, in stock. Uh, but you can't really find the eight inch in the store, which is kind of, you know, sad because not everybody wants, you know, a nine inch pair of linesman pliers. Some people do like the smaller pair of linesman pliers. Uh, just a little bit more compact, not as bulky, and definitely not as long. Uh, so I would like to see them, you know, carry these more in the store. Um, but, you know, that's up to Channel Lock. That's not up to me. But overall, these are definitely a nice pair of Lyman Flyers from Channel Lock. Made in the USA. So, you know, the quality of them is fairly decent. And they do also carry a limited lifetime warranty. So I will leave that in uh, some information about that in the description below. Take It'll be a link to Channel Lock's website. Take you right over to the uh, warranty page and you can find out about channel locks warranty through that and i will also leave a description in the description the um tool page for this guy on channel locks website if you want to learn more about this tool but that's all i have for this video so if you have any questions comments concerns please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more content like this please consider hitting that subscribe button but that's all i have for this video so thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded